Okay guys, hopefully you've just watched me do my other video on the Vino IT kits and I uh, was wondering well, whatever happened to that other kit, the uh, Grand Cru Pinot Noir. Well, that's it. So now that I have a clean six gallon carboy, I'm going to be racking that as well, but instead of using the, the uh, pump the uh, siphon, I mean, I'm going to be using the air pump. You can see another video I made on how to build this air pump, but basically I'm going to turn it on and you'll see it start racking. One of the great methods or great reasons for using this method of racking is it degasses as you're racking. So, you know, as you're in the process of racking, it's actually pulling some of the gas out of the wine. Which means less work for you later. Less work is always a good thing. Alright, so we'll continue this until we get to the end. Alright, so I'm going to next add my two packets, the sulfite and sorbate. I'm going to add one at a time. Add the sorbate next. And I'm going to stir that in. After I give that a good stirring, then I'm going to be doing my sparkaloid like you saw me do in the other video. Alright, so I'm going to prepare the sparkaloid and do a little more stirring. This is the sparkaloid powder that I use in place of kytosan in all of my winemaking. Now I use this because the kytosan again is made from shellfish and I try to avoid shellfish for folks that have shellfish allergies. I have another whole video on how to mix this up. You can just follow the directions on the side. But I do have another whole video on it and um, that's what I choose to use. Alright, so I just added a sparkaloid and stirred that in, and um, in about 10 days to 14 days, or somewhere about that neighborhood, we should be ready to uh, have a little bit of Pinot Noir. Alright, so we're going to let that clear. You guys saw me do three wines today. I got the... Vino IT Walzer Mount Bolton 5 gallon carboys now and I have the Grand Cru Pinot Noir alright so both of the, all of these actually now at the same phase this is called clearing we've added what we call fining agents to the wine to uh, make them clear and what I use is the uh, sparkaloid so now I'm going to set these aside for 10 days uh, 10 to 14 days and we'll be ready to process all of them whether that means filtering um, whether that means uh, just going straight to bottling we'll decide at that time all right thanks for watching guys Alright everybody, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. And if you like what you see, please subscribe to my video channel here on YouTube. And um, definitely check out my blogs, www.cookingitalianrecipes.com with the dashes in the middle. 
or um, my other one on winemaking, how to make homemade wine.biz. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and have an awesome day.